Hello and welcome to Code and Magic channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can create a hexagon. But uh, first, we need to know how we can create a triangle. Um, if you remember, in the last tutorial, we learned how we can create a triangle like this. But in this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can create a hexagon. And basically, we, you can create anything with uh, with uh, triangles but for creating hexagon first you need to know how we can create a rectangle well imagine here we have uh, a triangle like this and then to have a rectangle we we need basically two triangles like imagine if i have another triangle like this with the same size and if i rotate it and put it here you see that we can have a rectangle but basically what you can see is that we have uh, six points for uh, totally for a uh, for a rectangle because every triangle has three points and as you can see, these points are overlapped. Like this point and this point are overlapped, which in a large shape, uh, it has performance issues and performance costs because we end up with a lot of overlaps and which is not good for, for performance. But we can use another method to draw a rectangle but with only four points well to draw only four points and have a rectangle we have to use element buffer objects basically uh, an element buffer object is just a buffer just like a vertex buffer that stores indices that OpenGL uses to decide what vertices to draw so let's try it okay Imagine I have a list of vertices here. Now, uh, I want to change my points to be something like this, like a, a rectangle. And then um, I, I will create the element buffer object. Okay, minus 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5, which is basically button left. Uh, 0, 0 0.5, I'm going to change this because I want it to be minus 0 0.5 and then 0 0.5 to become top left. And for the next one, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5, which is right bottom right and the last one which is um, we need the top right for top right we need to 0 0.5 and then 0 0.5 again 0 0.5 again okay and this one is top right well, I have four points for a rectangle, and then now I'm going to have the list of points to tell OpenGL, okay, draw this rectangle in this order. And signed int indices. And well, imagine this one is index 0, and this one is index 1, 2, and 3. And I'm going to tell, well, first index, draw index uh, 0. I can, uh, I have to pass the indices of the, actually, indices of the uh, triangle that I need. For example, for the first triangle, for the black one, it is top left. Um, left bottom left and uh, this one uh, 
right but uh, right bottom okay so top left which is zero one and this is the index one and bottom left which is the index zero and right bottom bottom right which is index zero one two this is the first triangle. And for the second triangle, I need uh, top left, which is one. Also need this one, which is bottom right. And also need top right, which is three. So as you can see, the points uh, 1, index 1, and index 2 is common between two triangles. Second triangle. Well, the, now we need to create an element buffer object. Also like this, we create another one which is element buffer object. We generate a buffer now we have to bind it but instead of uh, array buffer we need the gl element array buffer and now we need to fill the data which is kind of like the vertex buffer but we just need to change the type and also pass the indices instead of vertex and we need also to be a static draw well in the next step instead of drawing arrays we need to draw uh, element array buffer and we have to say uh, gl draw elements and we need a triangle instead of zero we need uh, we have to change the parameters in its account we have six points and it's a type which is uh, unsigned int gl unsigned Int and also indices past zero, which is the start of the uh, like the it's basically the the start of the points, which is zero. And now, if I run the program, I have a I have a rectangle. Now, if I want to see how is it working, like where are the triangles, I can enable the polygon mode here gl polygon mode and i can pass gl front and back gl gl line now if i run the program again it shows me the polygons and you can see that I have two triangles here. Well, well, to have a hexagon, I have to create more triangles and have a, a tri have a hex hexagon shape. Well, let's see how it works. Imagine that I want to create something like this. Well, imagine you want to create something like this, but we can divide this shape into triangles and create separate triangles and use element buffer object to having not having too much points and create a hexagon. Like imagine if I 
draw a triangle here, and then another triangle here, and then another triangle here. You can see I have one, two, three, four, four triangles. And basically, four triangles contains 12 points. But if I want to use element buffer objects, I can only create this one with, with only six points, which are these points. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's basically 50% of the points. And in large shapes, as in large shapes, it becomes very efficient. So, okay, here I already prepared the points that I need and I already prepared the indices. So I just copy and paste them here. Now I have 12 points in the indices. Just I need to change this one. 12 and now if I run the program I will see my hexagon and you can see that I have four triangles well if I comment out the polygon mode I can see the hexagon well that's how we can create a rectangle and hexagon and other shapes as well but using of element buffer objects is very important because it saves us a lot of performance in large shapes, which contains thousands of triangles. Well, thank you for watching. If you have any question, don't forget um, to write it down in comment section. I also uh, put the project and also everything that you can see here in the GitHub. So you can find the GitHub link in the description as well. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you and see you for the next videos.